Welcome back. AREA is a public charity that leads and executes strategies designed to grow and diversify the economic base of the greater Albuquerque region. That's also creating a prosperous, diverse, and inclusive economy, as well as elevating the standard of living for all. Well, here to tell us about the work that they are doing here in the Metro, we are joined by the President and CEO of AREA, that is Danielle Casey, and the Director for the Metropolitan Redevelopment Agency of, from the City of Albuquerque, Terry Bruner. Uh, it is both great to have you with us. Thank you. Good morning. Absolutely. And so we always get excited when you come on. You know, this is exciting to hear how things are going to be, you know, kind of picking up and blossoming and, and really helping out the economy in so many different ways. Um, you know, so, uh, Danielle, let's kind of start with uh, some of the exciting things that are happening. Sure. Well, I'm, I'm going to let Terry talk about some of the wonderful things in downtown. But what I'd love to do is connect the dots on the front end that we love to bring really amazing partners and guests with us because that's really what happens with regional economic development. Nothing happens in a vacuum. And from a perspective in terms of downtown and the criticality of downtown, all of our business and industry, all of the consultants that are advising companies on their next market to pick, they all look at the health and vibrancy of your downtown as a major guidepost as to whether they want to locate in the community. So we think that uh, our downtown vibrancy is absolutely critical and area is a huge supporter of the wonderful work that the MRA is doing there as well as across the city, uh, which is important to remember. Kind of sounds like it's, it's the place to be, right? Yeah, we're trying to make it the place to be and, and we want people to take a fresh look at downtown and not only uh, folks coming in from out of state that are visiting, but our locals as well. So we're, we're really working hard. We're a year into the mayor's downtown forward plan um, to try to reinvigorate our downtown area. Yeah. And so when we talk about that, I mean, and, and again, there's, there's, like you said, the partnerships that we highlight the d different areas in the metro that are going to be like, you know, popping and where you want to attract um, some, some economic perks. Uh, Danielle, right now, why is it important to have that regional economic development just throughout the area? Well, companies pick markets. So companies are, are highly in, and very often looking at a location, so they might hone in on this is a great building or this is a great piece of land for our uses and our needs, but they're going to look at a labor shed mm -hmm. within, let's say, a 30-minute drive. And that 30-minute drive of people that might work at that company could be in five different cities or, or jurisdictions. So it's really important that we are all working together on a larger scale vision on how we grow the economy and the community and, and having those coordinated efforts. But at the same time, and these are great conversations we've had at AREA with our board of directors, which is, is mostly business leaders, but also public sector leaders, is that um, downtown's vibrancy matters to everyone. It matters to people in Sandoval County and in Berlin, and of course, in Albuquerque City proper and downtown. And we actually actively spend time promoting properties and sites and opportunities. So if anybody's got a, a business idea that they want to put downtown, they can uh, visit our website and find some spots. Well, speaking of attracting folks, I mean, the rail trail project, I mean, that's something that's kind of up and running right now, right? Yeah, it's a huge project, and it will be a seven-mile loop around our downtown. A lot of cities across the country are, are investing in pedestrian and bike trails in their downtown center as a way to attract people in the area. So we're, we're starting this month on our ramps that will cross at Central Avenue and the railroad tracks to bridge the gap between East Downtown and, and uh, Downtown proper. And then also hopefully starting the spring on a sawmill section of the rail trail. And that's mm -hmm. really gonna be an attraction for people statewide is there will be things to do on that trail besides just the recreational aspect. We hope to see a lot of commercial development and opportunities for fun on the trail. We think it will bring people back downtown. Yeah, another incentive for business to come back to the, uh, to the Metro and especially downtown. So uh, Danielle, where can we find more information on area? abq.org, but if you want to put a business in a facility anywhere in the region, but especially downtown, abqsites.com. All right, and City of Albuquerque would be which is www.cabq.gov. All right, thank you both for joining us. We appreciate it.